All right then, folks. Welcome back to Are We There Yet? We're with still with Clyde, our first foray into the Scottish League One after the highs, the giddy highs of our playoff promotion uh, victory last season. I want to start with the transfers. Now, we haven't got a great deal of money, and well, I mean that's not strictly true. We've got a transfer budget of well, six figures, 180, 100, 160, 140k, but. No one wants to play for us. So what have we done? The only out was Jordan Brown. I mean, if you were to look at him, you'd think, mate, Jordan, lad, football's not your thing, mate, to be honest. Go and do something else. Let's go. Linus Glow. Lin Lith Glow Rose is where he's gone. I mean, that could be a pub for all I know. So maybe he is pulling pints. Who have we bought in, though? Free transfers, a couple of them. Uh, David Marsh. Is a centre half, and not a bad one, I don't think for this level. You know, you've got to remember this is this is League One, and I don't think there's too much difference between us and League Two. Uh, interestingly, he's played for Clyde before, and this is going to be true of both the signings. So he left Clyde, joined Stenhouse Muir, and they got relegated last year, I believe. And now he's with Clyde again in League One. So hopefully, he can do better for us than he did for Stenhouse Muir. Scott Linton. A left back, obviously Brown going out, we need a left back, and it's one of the areas that I thought we were a little bit weak last year. I think he's actually quite a good player for the again for, for this level. So we brought him in on a free, and again he left us <laughs> season before last to, to play for East Five and uh, he played one game and now he's back. And I think he's probably gonna be our first choice left back if if I'm honest. Uh dynamics wise, the hierarchy, obviously David Goodwill he left, he's gone and joined someone in League One who I forget. I want to say Luton off the top of my head, but that could be absolute nonsense. Uh, no, I'm right. He's playing for Luton in League One, I believe. So good luck to him. Um, you know, he's only £1,700 a week. <laughs> we were never going to be able to pay him that, even if we were, we'd have to get promoted twice, I think, before we uh, got anywhere near that. So Michael McNiff, uh, excuse me, Marty McNiff. Mikey, Mikey McNiff, I prefer that. Mickey McNiff. Uh, no, Marty McNiff is the squad leader, if you like. We've got no team leaders, but he's the most influential. And then captain has been named as Bazza. So, uh, dynamics-wise, we're doing pretty well. Obviously, Sandy McCluskey's in for the full season. He signed a new deal. We've had Premier League offers for him, which we turned down. I don't think we're going to be able to see what uh who they no we can't i thought he might have kept them in the transfer center but there was a couple of clubs sniffing around him in the premier League, but lower really lower quality premier league offers i think dunfermline were one of them or, or something like that so they weren't for very much money five grand i mean really sandy is going to be he could be the heartbeat of not just the team but the save as well you know he's got a lot of work to do but he has got that that work rate uh, he needs to work on his determination a little bit, but otherwise, you know, I, I can only see good things for this boy. I think he's he's going to be probably in the Scotland squad very soon. I hope he's a player that we can take with us. Fingers crossed. It, I'm assuming we're going to leave at some point. Now, we're obviously ready to play in the League One, and that's what we're doing today. We're kicking off against Alloa Athletic. We're playing at the Broadwood. But how did we do in our League Cup group? Well, we're in Group B. And let's just take it back to Group B. So our group contained Livingston, Ross, uh, Berwick and Arbroath. Now we kicked off with a 5 nil absolute battering of Arbroath. And they're interestingly, they're in League 1. And they did alright in League 1 last year. They've managed a 6th place finish. So I'm confident in our ability to step up to this level. Of course then we followed up with a 3-2 away when we had to battle hard against League 2 opposition in Berwick. But if we can rely on our home form... Then we should be good. You can see there, Ross County of the Scottish Prem, 2 0 up uh, before they took it away from us. An absolute stupendous goal from Alex Madlung in the 81st minute, giving Ross County the equaliser. And then they managed to just win on penalties. And then we lost to Livingston. You know, Livingston were, were just far better than us. They're a championship side, yeah, so it's an, it is one step up, but they're probably one of the better championship sides, I think. You can see there that they finished in fifth place, so not too far off the top. So, yeah, all things considered, I think we're in a healthy place. And the aim for this season, really, has got to be getting our next badge. And I think I think what we're going to have to do is we're going to have to introduce a bit of a rule to this journey. 
Because there's no point in being on a journey if you haven't got goals. Yes, targets. So we have a National C license, I believe. Let's just double check that for a moment. We do. We have our National C license. Yeah, our stats are pretty appalling. But in terms of our development, what do we need to do? We need to take the step up. For that, the club needs money. I've asked recently. They've said no. So I think from this point on, if we get turned down for, and I'll only, ever, I'll only do this on video now, if we get turned down to go on a training course for any reason whatsoever, so if we cannot push it beyond the point of offering to resign for the sake of going on a training course, we, won't, we certainly won't be doing that. But if we do not get our training course funded for National B three times on the bounce, we walk. And I think that should be the rule every club at this point. So if we get declined for, tra for improving our own standing one, two, three times in a row, we're gone. Other ways, I think we have to just sort of keep an eye on our own star rating. At the moment, it's still minimal. So our stock has not really risen after our promotion from League Two with Clyde. So realistically, the best thing is to probably stay and see if we can push on and get up another promotion under our belts. A few people in the comments on the, the most recent videos have echoed that sentiment. Clyde's got a decent stadium, a decent standing in the, in the game. It's not the most exotic of clubs, is it, Clyde? But it is an absolutely established club with sound foundations, and that's what we need to work on. So we're going to stick with it. We're going to push on, and we're going to hopefully get that second promotion. I suspect we'll probably move on at the end of this year, barring, of course, a uh, tycoon takeover. So it's Arbroath. No, it isn't. It's it's uh, uh, Alloa. Was it Alloa? It was Alloa. We've got games against Airdrie. Uh, Arbroath, again, we destroyed in the cup. Uh, Stranra, Wraith, and uh, Brecken. So the, goal, the goals, the games are coming thick and fast before we uh, get to that transfer deadline day. I don't think we're going to see any transfers coming in. We've got money, but the, just the, the players are just not interested at all. Uh, you know, it's it's the nature of the beast. It's Scottish League League One. You know, if you haven't played there already, you're probably not going to want to play there. Can't make them. Can't make them. I haven't got enough money to make them. So, yeah. Fortunately, though, we kept the squad together, and Daknovitz is uh, Shemislav Daknovitz is doing pretty well. Uh, it says his contract is rolling, and I mean he's not out of contract. He's just on a he's on a non-contract term. Uh, for, unfortunately, I let my assistant or director of football rather negotiate a contract with him, and that's what he agreed, uh, non-contract terms. So hopefully he doesn't get poached from us. He's actually doing pretty well. So fingers crossed we can put in a good performance today and get off to a good start against Alloa. So here we are then at the Broadwood. First game of the new season, the League One season. This is how we line up. New signings, Linton and Marsh go into the back four alongside McNiff and Duffy. Curry continues in goal. Baza is uh, having the armband uh, with MacArthur alongside him. Ferguson, Daknovitz, Ramsey on the left and McCluskey. Ramsey's probably the weakest link on our left side. You can see that Alloa's formation is a very narrow one. Um, whether that'll hinder us or allow us to really get round them on the sides, who knows. They have got four players in attack effectively, much like ourselves, so it could really be a bit of a struggle. Fingers crossed we can... Uh, well, we can do the business today and get ourselves off to a good start. Survival is absolutely important. We desperately don't want to be relegated and lose performance or lose, what's the word? Lose lose reputation points, I suppose, because we haven't got any reputation to speak of. <laughs> so we certainly don't want to lose any. So not long played, well, not long, I say not long played. We're halfway through the first half and nothing's happened. Here's the first opportunity or first moment of any note here is Ramsey after a Datnavis pass. Ramsey's pretty poor control and he loses out. And here comes Corley. Uh, Linton's getting after him. He's found Taggart on the left side or on the right side. And Corley's in and it's a decent save by Curry and uh, not the greatest of moves there. Pretty pretty poor from Ramsey on that left side. Uh, corner played all the way back to Mitchell. Uh, out to Monty. Crossed in, but uh, Curry's there. Curry is quite simply a League One standard goalkeeper. So hopefully he will be worth points in this league as well. And Ramsey picks up an injury. Yes, we haven't really got anyone else who can play out there, but effectively he's not a very good player. So we'll put Max Wright out there, and hopefully it won't be too much of a problem. 
So a throw in then near just approaching half time, 40 minutes played, and it's it was chipped in towards the near post. And Curry claims no problem because it's a marsh on this right side. Here's Ferguson he's looking ahead now. He's got McCluskey ahead of him. Can he find him? He skips past one, skips past two. Well done, son. That's a good ball into Barry. McCluskey finds Wright, sends him a little bit wider than he might have liked to Linton. Crossed him. McCluskey absolutely thunders it into row 55. And that's a little bit disappointing. All right, it's half time, ref. It's half time, ref, surely. Pass off the bar and then cleared away, hooked away. We survive somehow after Alloa hitting the crossbar. Oh, that would have been an awful time to have conceded. They probably should have taken the score there. Taking the score, taking the lead is what I mean. Pretty poor half from us. I'd like to see a little bit better than this. Dominating the ball, but uh, yeah, uh, I mean, it's difficult, isn't it? Because we're taking the step up, so we can't be too hard on the lads. But you know, if we're gonna if we're gonna have any kind of impact in this season, we need to be winning our home games. You know, we were a bit patchy last year, home and away. But we managed to, to put a few runs together late on, especially. And if we can put a good start on the board, if we can put some points up, then we, we, we have a decent chance, I think. McNiff seals that one out, and here's Linton. Fans right to Barry. He looks out right to Ferguson, who had a good run in that first half. He finds McCluskey, but McCluskey absolutely thundered down there. And uh, here comes Alloa again. It's a little bit concerning. Taggart to Fl Flanagan. Uh, he skips past two. He's made mugs of us there. And what's is, he's given a penalty? It didn't look like a penalty. It looked like Marsh had won the ball. But uh, Northcroft in charge says no, and it is a penalty. And um, we really need to push up now. We need to tell the boys to get creative because we've we've been a little bit lackluster. Monty takes the penalty, but Barry, Barry, Blair saves it. I thought for a minute he was going to give another one. So maybe we don't need to tell him to get creative, although I would like to see more from us. And a free kick, a little man over through Mitchell. If we can steal it, though, we're in with a chance. But if they break through, we're not. I'm a bit concerned. That's not far over. Alloa really are pushing all the right buttons at the moment. You can see the stats. They're absolutely tearing us apart. We're completely invisible when it comes to an attacking threat. Datnovitz is having a pretty poor game. Uh, I think we'll get, look to get Flynn on for him because he's not been good. We're trying to give him a chance, but quite simply, if he's not going to perform, we can't give him the chance to play. So Matt Flynn comes on, one of last season's top goal scorers, of course. Hopefully he can grab a late goal for us. Linton takes a free kick deep towards no one. Hopefully we can recycle it, though, through Linton. And uh, he's got a man down this left side. It's right. He can back onto his right peg and uh, shouldn't have done. But that's a poor ball. McNiff wins it, MacArthur. To Duffy, something building, man over on the right side, it's Ferguson, skips in, Flynn, awful finish, should have done a lot better, it seemed a simple tap in, and that might have been the chance that we needed to take the game, but we have not taken it, and it remains nil-nil, I think with 10 minutes to go, we'll look to make our final change of the game, Max Wright has been pretty abysmal, he should have buried that one, shouldn't he? Uh... Matt Flynn, I mean, um, I don't really know what we can what we can suggest if we whoever we bring on at this stage is only si is simply going to weaken the squad, so I think we we just leave well alone, and with just ten minutes or so to go, it's Alloa again. You can see there they're spreading us all over the park, and Corley uh, managed look a little bit lucky, was it? He managed to keep the ball that's spewed all over the place, and they do get a goal late on. Kevin Corley, pretty poor, awful defending. Oh, and we, you can see, oh, the replays are back. I don't know what I've done to fix them. I think we'll switch that, though, to director. And, you know, I think we're guilty of ball watching. The goalkeeper's probably culpable as well. But, I mean, he's kept us in the game, so we can't really point too many fingers at Blair. He can, you know, he saved the penalty. Uh, can't argue with the result, can you? When you deliver stats like that, we've been outclassed, although maybe we can steal something, can we? Right. He's got a loop left, and he goes right, and oh, it's a terrible ball. He had so many players to choose from, and he finds none of them, and it's a ball, crossfield ball that we were so susceptible to last season. Unfortunately, they don't make it worse, but it's a, a pretty disappointing, very uh, underwhelming beginning to our season. Uh, hopefully, it's not a sign of things to come. I'd, it makes you wonder if we were capable of keeping a team like Clyde up. We'll see what happens.
we'll see what happens, you know. We haven't got any offers on the table elsewhere, but if another job was to present itself, why not? The idea will be to stay here for the season, but that's, you know, that's 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 not familiar for me to say. McCluskey charging down the left side. Cross, it's not a bad cross in. Oh, for a minute there, I thought we were going to get a chance to equalise. Would have been harsh on Alloa. I can't deny it. I'd be pretty ticked off if a team against me had, had managed to score an equaliser despite having none of the game. Um, yeah, so... You know, I'm not happy and stressed is Scott Ferguson. Well, mate, you need to play better. That's quite simply the case. So, good start, wasn't it, that? I thought we were going to do pretty well. Our both were a marker and, yeah, I don't know where Alloa are expected to finish. Let's just have a, have a quick look at the preview. Alloa are expected to finish third. We're predict <laughs> so they're 6-1, to one. we're 600-1. to one. So we're predicted to go straight back down. Yeah, yeah, you know, can't agree with that. Oh, well, I can't disagree with that. I'd, I'd say we're probably going to go straight back down. So maybe a 1-0 home defeat to Alloa is not too bad. Where will we return for some League One fun? I think we can ignore the League Cup. Uh, it's probably the, the Scottish Cup against Stranraer at this point. League. Oh, what's this? Four away games on the on the ball? What the... F Jesus... I think what we'll do is... Where are we? We're August now. I think we'll try and come back for the East Fife game. Gives us a bit of a block and we'll see. We'll have a bit of an idea as to where we might be. If there's any signings, of course, I'll keep you updated on those. Do follow me on Twitter, at Knock It Wide, for transfer updates as they happen. I can guarantee there'll be none. But keep, you know, follow me anyway. Yeah, great. All right, do pop a like on the video if you've enjoyed and subscribe for far more. I'll see you again on the next video. Goodbye.